eight years ago, my academic advisor, uh, Dr. Wilhelm, made a mission trip to Ecuador and South America um, with his church. And while they were there, they were in the middle of the rainforest in a village, and they were greeted by this whole village of people. Um, and in this village, they were like wearing, because it was a special occasion, because they were outsiders, um, they did this whole presentation of um, indigenous dance. They were wearing costumes with all the music and whatnot. Um, but what makes this story a little bit special is that during this, um, the music was actually not played by the indigenous instruments, but was pumped through giant speakers um, that were attached to car batteries because there were, there's no electricity. Um, so rather than using their indigenous instruments, um, they were pumping recorded music through speakers, which was very odd, as you can imagine. Um, so this, among with a lot of other experiences during that trip, became the um, set for his doctoral dissertation um, and has been doing this research over the last eight-ish years. Um, this year will be his seventh trip to the country of Ecuador, my third trip. Um, about two, two summers ago, I went there for the first time. Um, just for tourism and just fell in love with the country and we took a trip of music ed students there last summer for music ed students including myself to research the music and transcribe it because since the music is passed only orally person to person as the country becomes more westernized more um, Americanized less people want to know the music less people actually do know the music we researched about four groups in one region of Ecuador, um, and they are one, four of ten in the entire Quechua nation, which is the biggest um, indigenous group of Amazon people. Uh, four of ten groups in the entire South America um, that are still remaining, still playing this music. Um, so this piece um, is an arrangement of the Canto Matrimonio, which is the marriage song, and the students are going to be demonstrating the various rituals of the song while they play and sing, and it'll be very fun. So, I hope you enjoy. and many other countries, the first step in a Quechua marriage proposal is to ask the father for permission. The suitor hires the musical family in their village to go to his intended home and get the family's blessing on the marriage. The suitor, his family, and the musicians take gifts to the bride's family along with an offering of chicha, a fermented drink of ground yuca, a potato-like root, mixed with water or the maker's saliva. It is traditional for any family to offer their chicha as a sign of respect.
have interest in getting involved in this project, you are welcome to come up and ask me anything after the rest of the performance. Thank you.